The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Joined by course human track and field coach David Needs. I'm Eric Kane. This is CNEagles.com. Coach, four of your athletes set to go down to Bradenton, Florida for the 2016 Outdoor Championships. Um, a pretty big deal. This is the biggest group you're ever going to take to any type of championship in the history of the program. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's you want to treat it just like any other meet, but the stakes are larger this go around. What do you expect from your athletes, and um, how do you think the whole experience is going to be this weekend? Well, it, the, the stakes are larger. They're always going to be larger. Um, as you take more people, um, we, you know, we're, we're excited that we have the opportunity because, like I've told a thousand people, you're lucky if you get one. And the fact that we get four, we're, we're blessed. And and then to know that in, in, in a certain situation where Kevin's the number one seed going in the hundred, Tanner's in the top, you know, he's fourth in the high jump and Kevin's fifth in the, in the 200, you think you can score some points. And... To score points means you you finish you finish ranked, and that that's going to be great. And for our our ladies, for Tori and Tiana, you know they were excited to make it because they're right on the edge of making it. Or in, in Tiana's case, she wasn't going to make it till her, she had her last jump. And so to be there now is kind of like that team that makes the playoffs in, in sports. It doesn't expect to be there, but kind of just gets catches the, the the right breaks at the right time, and then makes makes things happen. And I think that's what our ladies will do. Obviously, this will be the, the best of the best in Division Two will be there. But um, all season long, both indoor season and outdoor season, you've taken uh, individuals and the team to you know some of the biggest meets mm -hmm. in, in the country. And you've seen some Division One athletes, some Olympic hopefuls mm -hmm. and all that. How does that play into this weekend for your athletes? Well, it's by design. You know, one of the things we want to do is, is we want them to get to national. Mm -hmm. We went to the Penn Relays a couple of weeks ago, and the idea to run in front of 47,000 people, we said this to the people that were there. There will not be a bigger stage than what you've competed on. Even at nationals, it'll, it won't seem as large. And so we've taken them to Jesse Owens. We've taken them to Greensboro. We've taken them to different places so that they can be exposed to the big meet so they can run big at the right time. Uh, in other news, the United States Track and Field and Cross Country's Coaches Association recently named Kevin Sneed the uh, track athlete uh, for the Southeast region, um, uh, the first honor of his career. Uh, historic season, you know, the 100-meter and 200-meter runner. What can you say about your sprinter? Wow. I, I don't know where to start with Kevin. I, I, Kevin is the fastest sprinter in Carson Newman history. Um, he rewrote records that had been there for quite a while, uh, over 20 years, in some cases 30 years, um, uh, some approaching 40 uh, of, uh, of just some of the best records in the 102. Uh, and not only did he break them, he shattered them. And, and so, but you know, Kevin is one of those people we talked about. We took him to the big meets. We took him to Ohio State. We, 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 we took him, I mean, he earned a trip to nationals. We went to the Penn Relays. Kevin doesn't shy away from running against the very best. In fact, it motivates him to run better. Um, and that's what you want in a sprinter. That's what you want in an athlete. You want somebody that, that, that is hungry to run against the very best. You mentioned uh, going into the outdoor championship championships he's going to be the number one seed mm -hmm. uh, what does he need to do to um, you know finish in that number one spot mm -hmm. uh, come up with a good uh, ranking towards the end well we would like to say hey I, you know I, he needs to run he needs to run what he has been running but I, I, Kevin's got a little bit higher aspirations his his goal is is to hopefully make it to the Olympic trials and if he runs about two one one hundreds better with the right wind he can do it and, and so we're not we're not going there to say all right hey let's just do what we've been doing and, and we'll be okay we're saying hey let's let's take it another level and he and I've been you know in our in our, in our work and our contact it's not about just just maintaining it's about being the very best he can possibly be at the right time uh, the last national rankings came out just a few days ago <clears throat> and your men's team was ranked 22nd mm -hmm. uh, matches the the program's highest ranking that you guys said earlier in the season. Uh, what does that 22nd ranking mean to you and to a program that, you know, normally hadn't come close to being in the top 25, but you're able to do it twice this year? Well, it's starting to say that we belong. It's starting to say that we have the kind of athletes. And when we, when we decided that we were going to dedicate more money to scholarship, when we decided that we were going to take this program to the next level, um, the president, the athletic director, um, the coaching staff, we decided that we were going to recruit athletes to compete on the national level. By having athletes that can compete on the national level, you're going to earn a national ranking. 
and we've earned a national ranking. To be 22nd, is, which ties the highest that we've ever been from earlier this year, the, the positive in that too is, is the worst we've been this year was 42nd. Mm -hmm. Before this season, the highest we'd ever been is 42nd. So our worst this year is as good as our best ever um, a year ago. And so we're moving in the right direction. Now, if, if we just stay as a, as, as, as a 20 to 25 program, then, then we're maintaining. And I learned enough from Coach Sparks and other great coaches here that you're not trying to be just a, a, a good program. You're trying to be the best program. So our goal is to continue to be better and, and then eventually be the best. Well, congratulations on the ranking, and best of luck to you and all four of your athletes who are competing in the outdoor championships. Well, thank you. He is Carson Seaman Track and Field Coach David Needs. I'm Eric Kane, and this is SeaEagles.com.